What's up guys, I'm Kel and welcome to the second part of how to record at home for beginners. Now, if you guys want to record through a MIDI controller, just check out our previous video. It's going to be on the link on the description below or the cards up there. Uh, this time we'll be talking about how to record in FL Studio uh, through audio. Now in recording an audio, this is used if you want to record through your instruments directly. Now keep in mind though that the instruments I'm talking to you guys about are instruments with PL ports. Uh, for example, uh, your electric guitar, your electric bass, or your keyboards, uh, etc. Uh, if ever though you guys want to record audio using your acoustic instruments like uh, acoustic guitar, a saxophone, a violin, or maybe you want to record your voice. We'll talk about that in another video, okay? So you guys will also notice that this video will be quite similar in our previous video called How to Record the Guitar Without an Amp. So I think it would be best if you guys check that one out first to get a better understanding of what I'll be teaching you today, okay? Before we start everything though, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that you get updated with more Ted and Cal, okay? So let's go! So here are the things you will need, you guys. First of all, you'll need your instrument, and for this example, I'll be using my Roland Juno DI. But again, you can use any instrument as long as it has PL ports, like this. Next, you'll need a PL cable. Now, you can find these in almost every music store, and it's the same cable if you want to connect uh, maybe your guitar or bass to an amplifier. Next, you'll need an audio interface, and for this example, I'll be using the Scarlett Focusrite. Third is a USB cable uh, with a USB type B on the other end. And then lastly, you'll need your laptop or your computer. Okay, so before we start, let's set everything up. First, get your PL cable and plug it in on your instrument. For keyboards, it's either one of these or both. This is whether you want it stereo or mono. But in this case, let's go mono. After that, plug it in your audio interface. Now you will need your audio interface to be connected to your laptop or your computer. So bring out your USB cable and plug it in there. And then wait for your interface to be recognized by your computer. Good! Now that we got that set up, what we need right now is a driver so that FL Studio can recognize your audio interface. For this case, since we are using Focusrite Scarlett Solo Gen 2, we'll go to the Focusrite website. But don't you worry, even if you have a different audio interface, all you just have to do is go to their website or follow the step-by-step -step instructions located in the manual or box to figure out how to download the driver for it. Once you're done downloading and installing the driver, Open up your FL Studio to set up the driver of your audio interface. Go to the options and then audio settings. And under the input and output drop down box, you'll see the current driver FL Studio is using. So you can go ahead and click on it. Then your audio interface driver should show up if you have successfully downloaded and installed it. Then Go to your mixer by clicking on this icon. Now you can go to any empty channel over here. Uh, for this case, let's select the first channel. Then go to this drop down that says in and select whichever you plugged it in. For my case, it's an input 2, so I will select input 2. Then there you go. FL Studio now recognizes your instrument under the first channel. Now, to start recording, simply press the mic button on the upper right hand side and select into the playlist as an audio clip. Then, the metronome will give you 4 preparatory beats before you start. Then, there you go! Alright! So now we have successfully recorded audio tracks from an instrument here at FL Studio. If you want to normalize the sound you just recorded, go to the sequencer over here, 
select your recording, which is this one, and then a little window will pop up and then tick the radio button that says normalize. And then there you go. If you want to use the same recording, make sure to highlight it in your sequencer like this. Then select any of the MP tracks on your playlist and there you go. Also, if you want to record a different track using the same instrument, just click on that mic icon again and hit on into the playlist add an audio clip. But if you want to add a new instrument, just unplug your current one and plug in a new one. But if your interface can accommodate more instruments, just select a different channel over here and go back to the drop down that says in, then select a different input. All right, there you go. All right, guys, so there you have it. Now we know how to record through MIDI and through audio, and that would be a great tool if you combine them together when you're making your song. So tune in to our future video, and we will be talking about how to record your acoustic instruments or maybe your voice in your DAWs using a microphone. So yeah, see ya.